All right, welcome to Groot's Gadget Review. This is only my third video, maybe. I have to go back and look. Um, just wanted to do a quick review on the Zion Smooth 5 Combo Kit. Um, I've been in photography, uh, both video and still photography, for probably 30 years. I'm not a professional, I'm an amateur. Um, but I do enjoy it, and I like gadgets. So I created this channel as I get gadgets and try them out and give you a real world view from just an average guy. Uh, again, not a professional, not getting paid, all that jazz. So this is the Zion Zoom. There's a couple of different ways to pronounce it, but I don't think anybody knows the real pronunciation. But anyway, it's a great little um, smartphone or small action cam gimbal. It's served me well. I've had it for about 30 days. Uh, I took it to a nephew's wedding and used it for about three, maybe four hours tops. Uh, had no issues whatsoever with it. Um, in fact, my iPhone 13 Pro Max ran out of battery before the gimbal did. Um, and we have it. I've been thinking I could have charged my phone right there on that port, and it would have drawn from the battery here to get me through a few more shoots. But I think I had four hours worth of video, so I had plenty to edit. Anyway. This device is worth the money in my opinion. Um, there's tons of reviews on it already. Um, but for, for the average guy, um, I think I paid $219 or $229, something like that, caught it on sale. Um, but the Pro Kit gives you this extra light here. Uh, again, it's magnetically mounted to the top here or the bottom, either one depending on your shooting, what you're shooting and how you have it oriented. Uh, once you balance your phone, the phone usually it's pointing that direction so of course we would want the light going that way and uh, I use an iPhone 13 Pro Max in an OtterBox case and it stretches this thing out but it does work well it fits in there uh, like most have complained iPhones you have audio jacks here anything on there so you once you butt it up against this motor there's not a lot of space so I bought a right angle adapter that converts from the iPhone to the iPhone plug and then on the other end of the plug is a traditional headphone three ring tip for that and that works great for plugging into whatever recording device you have if you're using an external microphone which I'm using on this video um, so real quick you have joystick which obviously points tilts zooms depending on what you have you have the different most uh, modes pan follow um, and POV and vertical it depends on how you're going to hold it and what you want to do and w whether you want left right up and down pan tilt zoom accesses um, the one thing that I use and haven't been using it that long but really like it is filmic pro for the iPhone fantastic application you can really uh, unlock the capabilities of the iPhone and and the cameras and everything you can do Again, being an amateur photographer, but I am familiar with um, f-stops and, and shutter speeds and all that. So that really opens up your phone to do everything. So uh, it was recently updated to work with this gimbal, which was huge for most of us who enjoy this kind of stuff. Uh, the one thing it doesn't do, and I think it's more of a function of Zion's, um, this on, on the Zion... Um, native app when you use this you can use it as a focus and a zoom and you just change by pushing the button in the middle and that changes the function of this from function to zoom however the uh, filmic pro app only you only have focus focus pull capabilities you can still zoom but you do it on the phone with with the graphical interface on the in the app itself um, you have your menu button, you have this dial that when you hold the button in, it turns on the light. If I can you can do it and turn on the light. And you can brighten it and as well as down. It also comes with, I believe it's four or five filters. I used this during that wedding that I spoke of earlier and it really came in handy in some dark spots as we were in a wedding hall and it wasn't outdoors so I needed the extra light. And that worked great. And again, I used this thing for three and a half, four hours and never ran out of battery. And I used the light probably 50% of the time. 
I get you an idea of, of the great battery life. Uh, never got any barking from the motors like it was freaking out or jiggling or couldn't handle the weight. I did have an iPhone 13 Pro Max with the OtterBox case and the light on here, so that's a lot of weight. Um, so no worries, it can handle a, a heavy payload. Um, conveniently have your record button to stop and start recording. Different modes, depending on the app you're using, that, that function changes, and you also have a function button over here that does the same thing. I did buy another uh, accessory for this. This is the Ulanzi, uh, I don't know if you can see that, Ulanzi triple cold shoe mount. Works great. You can plug it in the bottom down here and it gives you another cold shoe to hang if you had a separate, say, recording device or another light maybe to get better um, lighting in some of your videos depending on your situation. Uh, it's a great product as well, all metal construction. Um, but the Zion is a little, I think it's a combination of metal, but mostly plastic. Um, but so far, yeah, it's been a great, great investment. Uh, I think I, like I said, 229 I think I paid for it, or 239 I, I can't recall. But nonetheless, it's, it's a, a great um, tool to get smooth video and, and opens up a lot of creativity uh, when you, when you have something like this. It also has the uh, active track type thing that's, that I have on my um, DJI RSC. Um, once you open up the app and you select active track, uh, it's good for vloggers and do-it-yourselfers. If you're trying to do tutorials, you can set it up to um, basically you draw a picture around your face and this thing will track you once your phone is mounted in there. Um, and it recognizes your face. I don't know if it's looking at your eyes or your face, but um, yeah, it'll follow you wherever you go. And it's, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, if you, as long as you don't take off running or anything, I think uh, it, I didn't have any issues with it. Anyway, there you go. Zayun Smooth 5 Combo Kit. This guy recommends it.